guys, Scott Smith from Southern California, Rustnack BMW in Thousand Oaks. Just thought I'd do a nice little video here on the brand new 2015 435 convertible. This one's got the M performance exhaust. Go for it, Johnson. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Thanks, Johnson. Yeah, we just got this one in. I think this is one of our first new 2015s with the M Sport package. We ordered this, so it's the port installed here. They put these on for us uh, when they come into the United States over here on the west coast at uh, Port Wyneme, California. So this has got the M Performance exhaust. Also, it's got the M Performance power kit in it, too. So. Here you can hear it a little bit just while it's idling. They put some real nice tips on, as you can see. M symbol on there. This one's in the Alpine White. It's got the 19-inch M Sport wheels for the 2015. M Performance side piece put on there because it's got the kit now. It's got the M Performance brakes. Four piston up front, two piston in the rear. This one's also pretty fully loaded, actually. So it's got the LED full adaptive headlights, uh, the lighting package, they call it here in the United States. And this has got 300 horsepower, 300 foot-pounds of torque. All the torque, 300 foot-pounds, 300 foot-pounds of torque is going to be at 1300 RPM. BMW's got it rated with the stock engine and exhaust at uh, 5.4 seconds, 0 to 60. I know the magazines have gotten it quicker. Um, and then this one has the M Performance kit on it. So Now one thing I want to tell you guys, go check out this channel. I just watched a detailed video on a dyno report on a 435 with the M performance kit. It's a uh, auto show fair is the channel. Now they're saying with the M performance kit put on, they're talking around 327 horsepower, base horsepower, and 355 torque. Um, but also they said maximizing it, I guess they're talking 336 base horsepower up to 377 torque. So definitely check it out. These guys I don't watch too many dyno videos, but man, these guys have got it dialed in. I mean, first class. So, pretty short video, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you really want to see the numbers for that uh, BMW M Performance Power Kit, definitely watch the video. Let's go inside. Now this is the 2015, guys. So check out right away, look at the stitching try to get out of the way here so you can see it it's blue so this one's got the blue stitching it's the first time I've seen that also on the seat see if I can get in here and get you a good shot in the Sun but see the little M Sport or M motor division color symbol there in the piping really cool this one's also got the uh, neck heaters which came out just this last year, the first year, the 4 Series Convertible, 2014. It's a real nice touch. You see we got the dark wood in this one. Let's jump inside, show you some items in here. Big gauges, traditional, awesome M Sport steering wheel. Napa leather cover, really nice, grippy. So you got your sticker still on it for protection, but you can see the M, uh, M Sport dead pedal. Really nice. One thing I wanted to show you was the uh, navigation screen here. So they've really updated the colors. Really nice. 20 gig hard drive. You get BMW online services, Google search, Yelp, things like that. You'll get that for three years. That's too bad. Looks like the heads-up display. I'll have to move the car, but I'll do that in a minute, guys. Show you some heads-up display stuff. Touchpad controller. 
I'll put the roof up in a minute too. I want to show you some cool stuff in the trunk. But you know you've got the width adjustments on the seat with the M Sports. You can adjust that. You've got the leg extension up front. This car's also, as of with the 14, you know it's a longer wheelbase. It's wider. So in the back seat, let me show you that. You've got um, even more space. So you can actually have four adults in these cars really comfortably. Also, the car comes with the, with the wind deflector. On our previous model, 2013s and earlier, you had to buy that wind deflector. And it was five to six hundred bucks easy. So now they have that included with the car, even in the base model. So really nice upgrade. That was also in the 2014 model. There's your cup holders right there. Rear air conditioning and power source. So a lot of room back here, guys. A lot of room. Cool. Let me show you one of the neat features they had just come out on the 4 Series convertible too. Is in the back. Let's say you need to get to the storage. As you can tell, it's a small little opening right here. Those are the floor mats. Easy access feature up here on the door, on the hood. So what it does is it lifts the whole thing up and the actual convertible top. Three piece comes on up. There we go. Now we can move the shield out of the way. One thing I noticed too now, see there's your wind deflector right there. So you fold down the rear seats, pull out your wind deflector and you've got a pass through now. Let me show you that. Let's drop down the seats. There's your wind deflector. Now you guys can see all the way through. So really nice, big opening. We had that as an option, then I think it became standard in the last year or two on the previous convertible. And it had like a ski bag connected to it that you could take off here. It's just a straight pass through. Also, you can stack stuff on the seat here when it's laid down. It's nice dark carpeting. That way you don't scratch up your cup holders or the leather that's going to be out, you know, all the time in case you want to put some bags in the back seat. Head somewhere else with some luggage for a week or a weekend. So there's your easy access feature for the trunk. Let's go ahead and put it down. Close the door real quick here. Got some tape on the bottom too. Okay. Oh, the shield. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, guys, but hey, I guess if it doesn't want to go down, the light blinks and you gotta think, what am I doing wrong? So that shield has to be down. <laughs> go that quick we can close it up great looking car great time of the day huh? I got my big shadow in the way <laughs> go ahead and put the window up so we can check out the sticker on the new 2015 Here we go. New 2015 435 convertible. You can see the base price, 54.9. Then we go down to the M Sport. This one's got the upgraded 19s. Cold weather package. Driver's assistance. You got your lighting package there. Premium package and the full technology with the heads up. M brakes. Premium sound. And you can see the enhanced Bluetooth. And then it's got the Performance Exhaust and the M Performance Power Kit destination. So a total is under 73,000 US dollars. Mileage 20 and 31 with an average of 24. And you can see final assemblies in Germany. Let's go back inside. I'll show you a few things with electronics. Put up the top. 
Yeah, and you can see you've got the neck warmer buttons there. Heated seats will be up here and here. Let's go ahead and put the top up. And if you do have people in the back seat, they don't need to hunch over or hide from the top. They can sit normally. It's not going to hit them or anything. All I'm doing is holding the button, guys. That's all I'm doing. And you'll see it'll put up all the windows for you. Just looking over your shoulder, like if you're going to jump to the right lane, you can see you got that huge rear window. So there's not really, with these hard tops, any really bad uh, blind spots when you're driving. Let's do this. Let's drive on up here and see if I can get you a good shot of the heads up display. Well, you can see there it is, right up there. So let's try something here. Destination input. To enter a destination, please say the state. Cancel. Did you mean Minnesota? We can turn it off here. I want to try something. Destination input. Please say the house number in single digits followed by the street, the city, and the state. 620 Hampshire Road, Westlake Village, California. Processing your input. So it's kind of nice. You can be driving along, you get an address, verbally just say it while you're driving. Did you mean 620 Hampshire Road, West Lake Village? Yes. Start guidance or add as another destination? Start guidance. Root guidance started. So the information will come up, as you can see, up in your heads-up display, and it gets a lot more detailed, like definitely if you're on the freeway, things like that. But also, even like you can see here, I can scroll through radio stations. So you can see that. Even your phone history will pop up there. Hit the phone symbol, and it'll actually show you all your previous calls, so then you can just click on it. Really nice detailed maps now that they have on the uh, navigation. It's a 20 gig hard drive. Also, these buttons here, I don't know if you guys knew it, some of the new people to, uh, if you slide your fingers across them, they actually show up on the top of the screen there. Let me just show you here real quick. We'll wait for the, so you can slide your hands across and you'll see them there. You can set them for phone numbers, addresses, a certain place inside the iDrive. So they're just quick access buttons. They can be one thing. Usually people think they're just radio stations, but they can actually be phone numbers too. So that way you just push the button instead of just talking to the voice command system. And then also putting it into reverse. As you can see, my sensors on the right pick up the uh, wall in front of me, but I back off. There we go. Now the lines you don't have to have on, but the green is your direction of travel and the red is your maximum turn. You can see there on the bottom of the screen that's your actual bumper. So if you run into something, you're actually going to see it. Um, so that's kind of a nice, you get a reference point with the bumper still in there. You can get rid of the lines, you can get rid of the obstacle warning, so you can have just a really nice open camera if you like. We'll just put it back into drive. Go back to navigation. And then you can always just, if you know where you're, you know, at any time, you can always just verbally kill the uh, guidance off. Root guidance ended. Cool. Let me just back this up a little bit. There we go. Park, turn it off. Let's get out and put the top down. All right. Cool. Give you a nice view here. 
lock it, then unlock it with the remote. Yeah. So you can see here, you can put the top down just by holding the unlock button, holding it down the second time. So first time unlocks. Takes about 20 seconds. Nice way to cool off the cap in case you've had the top up all day while it's sitting out in the sun. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, please uh, throw it on your other media sources. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Try to keep it interesting. If you got any questions, just throw them below and uh, try to get to them as quick as possible. Thanks.